गुड मॉर्निंग दिस इज ए केस ऑफ वेंट्रल हर्निया दिस पेशेंट हैज ए लार्ज सिक्स सेंटीमीटर पारा अम्बिलिकल हर्निया सी इज ए ओल्ड लेडी एंड वी हैव परफॉर्म द वेंट्रल हर्निया सर्जरी विथ ए गुड क्वालिटी मेस दैट मेस इज प्रो विस्क वन सिक्सटी इट इज ए ड्यूअल साइड फॉर इंट्रापेटोनियल प्लेसमेंट द कम्पोजिशन ऑफ दिस मेस इज पोली यूरिथेन we are keeping the polyurethane material that is on the visceral side that has a blue color and there is polyester also that we will keep it towards the abdominal wall that is parietal side that is white color so this is a dual side mesh for the intraperitoneal only mesh of the ventral hernia repair here we are putting one big gauze piece above and pressing it so that all the content is reduced down and now this is the harmonic through which we are doing adhesive lysis this patient has the only content inside was the omentum no bubble was there and with a huge ball of the gauze piece if we press it down then the omentum can be easily pushed in and then slowly you can this is we can show you that there is no bubble all around this is a pure omentum there is no dilated bubble loop if the bubble is involved it will look like a fly over it will have the ascending loop and then ascending loop but here this is just a pure omentum and that also is fully reduced by a gauze piece from above but the boundaries of the mesh that is a sac the sac is adhered with the omentum so we are doing the adhesive lysis during the adhesive lysis you should take care that vibrating jaw of the harmonic should be visible towards you and silicon jaw should be away from you and you can use the like the uh, minimum mode of the harmonic and you can keep the minimum mode at 35000 vibration per second and that is on the setting of the minimum mode of the harmonic you will keep it at 3 generally we in during the ventral hernia we are not using the electro surgery because of the little more smoke and the more necrosis and the more collateral damage so harmonic has the advantage that it can give you the minimum collateral damage and the instrumentation time also can be minimized here little bit omentum is coming from inside the sac and slowly the pressure from outside has been increased so that you can reduce further and there is a one of the assistant is continuously holding it and pushing it from above this is a atraumatic grasper which is slowly reducing the content of the omentum inside the abdomen that you can use whatever is coming in you should try to remove it but it is not that you should try to damage the skin because one of the big problem of the seroma formation is due to the excessive trauma to that part of the abdominal omentum content if you do aggressive resection now the huge omentum came out and that way you can reduce whatever you want you can feel the ring of the defect by putting the finger from above also and that way the amount of the content you can decide and you know, slowly we can see it is almost done now you can use one uh, again harmonic to do the further adhesive lysis ventral hernia surgery is one of the easiest surgery to perform by laparoscopy in that uh, especially in the only mesh repair and uh, we are using vipro also sometime gortex mesh sometime proceed mesh and uh, previously before 2003 we have performed hundreds of cases of the simple polypropylene mesh also and that also was having little chances of adhesion but in my personal experience even the polypropylene is not a bad mesh for the poor patient who cannot afford the dual side mesh they can use with the polypropylene polyester of course is a very strong material and polyurethane is a absorbable material that we keep towards the visceral side of the uh, this pro visc mesh now this is the further adhesive lysis carried out and this is by the harmonic you can just slowly dissect and the finger is continuously pressing the entire skin inside the abdomen so that you don't have a worry about that any content will be left little bit fat which you are seeing in the con this sac there inside the hernia that will automatically atrophy and it will not be have the problem of any of the like uh, mm, the seroma 
sometime if little fat is there it will disorganize in the due course of the time it is not necessary to remove the 100% everything because by the current if you will sometime touch the uh, skin and if the skin is getting necrosed the skin is getting traumatized then there is a chance of fistulization so a skin should be respected some people they use a sutured passer to pass through the middle of the center of the defect but generally i i, I never touch the bare skin because at that point the chances of infection infection is there now this adhesiolysis is almost complete in the mesh which we will use here it is pro visc 160 that is dual side mesh and it has a polyurethane in one side so this mesh mesh has already pre tied not eh, on four corners that is and here this is the mesh and on those four corner i am tying one knot so that this uh, suture should not come out and it has already pre tied loop and just you have to apply the knot this white surface you can see we will keep towards the abdominal wall and blue blue surface we will keep towards the abdomen and this viscera and here it is now ready this is the mesh ready now we will fold it like a sari like a cigarette and this is the like a sari is better uh, like plated and then we will hold it with one big long jaw artery forcep and then you can push it in and here it goes this is the mesh inside now we are using suture passer and this every end of the thread will be pulled out one by one with the different parietal different muscle but with the same skin incision the idea is that it will hold but the knot will go pre below the skin subcutaneous here you can see inferior epigastric vessel is just lateral so when you are pricking especially in the lower side inferior epigastric vessel should be expected this is also the prick on the left side and again one uh, maryland will help you to get the one of the end of the mesh one of the end of the suture one by one you have to pull it out care should be taken that while you are pulling both the suture should not be pulled at the same time and the pricking should be separately this is you can see you have to keep this color towards the uh, like abdominal wall that is the white color and the blue color which is stained now should be towards the viscera that has to be taken care in dual mesh in vipro mesh you can keep any way upside down and there is no problem but in dual mesh correct size is required marking of the mesh already we have done above so that you will not have the problem with the pricking of the suture passer that marking should be done approximately 2 to 3 cm lateral to the corners of the mesh so that when you will pull it there should be proper stretch again this is the second end of the suture and one by one it will be pulled out and then you will tie the knot again this is the fourth corner and then you will hold it and one by one it will be taken it is important that the center of the mesh should be at the center of the defect and then you will take it out individually and slowly it will be pulled and here it goes and then you can use the tackers sometime we use the fibrin glue also but in dual mesh fibrin glue is not very nice for vipro mesh fibrin glue is better so here you are using the dual mesh so dual mesh itself has the one of the absorbable layer so chances of uh, like this is not there adhesion is not there in some of the rabbit experiment they have proven after few month of the surgery they cut the abdomen of rabbit to see after putting the dual mesh that there was no adhesion now here you can see that this is the multiple tackers which we have used the amount of the tacker you will apply fire all around so that may mess can be nicely like uh, spread all over take care should be taken that accidentally tacker should not be fired over the inferior epigastric vessel otherwise it will bleed so over the inferior epigastric vessel a special precaution has to be taken and this way all around the tacker will be fired during firing the tackers or stapler you have to take care that it should be opposed from above it should be opposed from above so that you can easily see and you can perform the surgery without any complication this surgery uh, just uh, we have done on 18th of the this month only september 2012 
and uh, now patient we will discharge tomorrow and it is a very nice surgery without any problem actually ventral hernia surgery in my opinion is one of the easiest surgery to perform especially by laparoscopy and especially the only miss is uh, a child play it's a very easy procedure and you can just perform it without any problem so all around this is double crowning we do and surgery is over so thank you very much for your valuable time